This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Squarespace and the letter C. What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup where we round up all the tech rumors for the week. Up on the docket today, it's all mobile all the time. So if you're looking to get a new tablet or a new smartphone sometime this year, you're going to want to stick around and watch. We're going to talk iPhone 5. We're going to talk quad-core tablets. We're going to talk Google's ice cream sandwich and Windows 8. This is Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and jump right in. iPhone 5 rumors have been everywhere on the tech blogosphere this week and we've got a ton of rumors to share with you. So if you want to buy an iPhone 5, it's got to be made first. Rumors are saying that 150,000 iPhone 5s are being produced per day at the Foxconn production facilities. So when you wait in line for that iPhone 5, it might, just might, be being, being produced right as you are watching this video. Kind of neat. Uh, what about a launch day? So we know what size it's going to come in. We're kind of sure what colors it's going to come in. Presumably the same white and black palette with hopefully white launching alongside. When is it going to launch? What well, we are hearing October 7th is the day you can first pick up your iPhone 5. Uh, we're waiting any minute for an Apple press event to let us know what the iPhone 5 is going to look like. Uh, we're hearing it's going to look very similar to uh, the iPhone 4, tapered edges, a larger elongated home button. Uh, the rumors we're hearing right now is that it won't be a physical home button. It's going to be a capacitive button, which we've seen on countless sort of Android devices. Uh, perhaps there's going to be a gesture area even put in there as well. Also, speech recognition is coming to iOS 5 and your iPhone 5. So now when you get a drop call and you yell at your phone, it's actually going to understand you. Is iOS not your thing? Well, let's talk Android because Eric Schmidt let it slip out that ice cream sandwich, the latest and greatest build of Android, the build that's supposed to end all the fragmentation and bring the tablet world and the phone world together in beautiful tech harmony is coming and coming very soon uh, this October or November. Uh, we're going to see Ice Cream Sandwich launch on a Nexus device as we've seen the previous versions of Android launch on those as well. Uh, presumably it's going to be the Samsung built Nexus Prime uh, which is going to have a gargantuan larger than 4.5 inch touchscreen. Uh, probably not as big as the Samsung Note 5.3 inch screen but it's going to be big and it's going to be powerful. But what is it going to be powered by? Um, possibly it's going to be powered by the latest quad core chip. That was an awesome unintentional segue. Coming out of NVIDIA, their CEO let it slip that KL, which was a code name for the quad core chips, uh, will be coming sometime in 2011. So if one core is not good enough for you, two cores is not good enough for you, you can get four battery sucking cores on your phone or tablet coming soon uh, this holiday season. So look for those coming. Um, again, I keep making jokes about battery life. Dual core certainly took a hit for battery life. We're only assuming that you double the amount of cores, you're going to double the amount of juice needed or at least need more juice. Uh, so. You're going to want to bring an extra juice box uh, when you pick up your quad-core device. Are you excited about quad-core? Do you care or not care? I'm more excited from a geek standpoint to see what quad-core can do from a benchmark standpoint. I'm not sure how much actual performance I'm going to get from dual-core to quad-core. Uh, last year's CES, uh, we did see some demonstrations of what quad-core can do as far as shading and graphic prowess. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm just not sure if the trade-off for, again, battery life is going to be worth uh, that increase. But the consumers are going to be the ones that are going to tell the truth there. Uh, so let me go ahead and take a quick minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Squarespace. Squarespace is actually a service that I've used I continue to use quite a bit. What is Squarespace, you ask? Uh, Squarespace is a fully hosted platform. There's nothing to install um, at all. Point and click design to go ahead and design your own website just by pointing your mouse around uh, a little bit. There's tons of flexibility. You get social widgets for all your social goodness, including Twitter uh, and Flickr. 
You've got 24 hour customer support, so when you're up at 3 in the morning editing your website, you can call them up. Hey Squarespace, help me out. And they'll say, okay, they'll help you out. Um, it's just a really great service if you're not a web designer or web developer, even if you are, you're looking for a solution that sort of brings all of the tools into one easy to manage package. Uh, Squarespace is definitely going to be for you. Uh, if you're looking to get a screaming deal, uh, check out squarespace.com to get a two week free trial and 10% off. Just use coupon code TECHNO9, T-E-C-H-N-O and then the number nine. You're getting a great deal, also shows your support for us and the show and we really appreciate it. So if you want to say thank you, which you know, would be awesome, go ahead and use a coupon code TECHNO9. All right, so we've talked iPhone, we've talked Android. Let's go ahead and talk about Windows. Uh, we saw a first sneak preview of Windows 8, which sort of has a Metro, which is Windows Phone 7 type UI sitting on top of it. But what about for the Windows tablets we're gonna be having? Uh, so we've seen Windows 7 actual tablets uh, come out. Looks like Windows 7 that you use your finger with. Windows 8 is going to have a specific tablet build but we haven't seen that yet. The rumors are saying that we're finally going to see the first Windows 8 tablet build revealed at, drum roll please, that's a bad drum roll, drum roll please, Microsoft's build conference, which kicks off September 13th. Uh, Microsoft might be a little bit late to the tablet party, but there's still plenty of time to make up ground. I think they've spent a lot of time on R&D uh, and if it's anything like Windows Phone 7, I think it's going to be very, very easy to use um, and pretty robust. I'm a big fan of Windows Phone 7, if you couldn't tell. So I have high hopes for the tablet version of Windows 8. What do you guys think when it comes to tablets? Are you in the Apple camp? Are you in the Android camp? Are you going to be in the Windows camp? Are you in the WebOS camp? You pick up a $99 touchpad and now you can't get enough of your flicking cards. Uh, we want to hear from you, so leave all your comments. Uh, I am John Rettinger, filling in for Noah Kravitz on this episode of Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup.